Hi, it is Ayikam time again. So, due to the incident of the fight between the Tai Chi practitioner and the MMA practitioner in the April 27, 2017, uh, the matter got heated up and uh, our Wing Chun friends, a few of them, messaged me saying that this MMA practitioner is uh, actually criticizing Grandmaster Yip Man and Bruce Lee. Okay, so uh, the our friend, our uh, Wing Chun friend, uh, asking me what is my view on this uh, incident and the criticizations. Uh, so let me share with you my view and uh, for your reference, okay, don't take me as, uh, as right. Think about what I'm saying, okay, see that, that it is, it is uh, based on technical or it is baseless, okay, just think about it and don't take me as right because whatever I'm saying, I expect everybody to, to, uh, to, to investigate on it, okay. Now, the first one, the criticizations of Bruce Lee and uh, Grandmaster Yip Man. My view of this is very simple. Don't critic anybody who already passed. We are not living in their era. Okay? We are not living in their era. We don't know what's going on. Nobody can go back to the future. However, what we know for sure is this. If you think you are better than Bruce Lee or Grandmaster Yip Man, that's great. Now, Bruce Lee have a very, uh, very uh, huge contributions to the martial arts, the Chinese martial arts. Okay? and uh, contribution to Masha the worldwide. Grandmaster Yip Man have a very big, huge contribution positively to Wing Chun. Okay? Anybody, if they think they are better than Grandmaster Yip Man or Bruce Lee, you know what? Just go ahead and make a better contribution to the human world, okay? make positive contributions to show that you are capable. There's no point to critic Bruce Lee. There's no point to critic Grandmaster Yip Man. If you are good, you do it. If you think that uh, like uh, 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 this uh, Henry Ford, the guy who, 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 who built that uh, Ford company is not as good, well, there's no point to do that. Well, why don't you build a, 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 a car company, you know, better than his company? You contribute more. Then the result, the action speak for himself. Okay? It's this simple. You know, everything can be looked at uh, uh, what? value added. Like uh, in Silicon Valley, we talk about value added. You know, when you see something, you want to add value to it. You want to see somebody else, you want to add value to it. You see yourself, you want to add value to it. Instead of saying, oh yeah, you're no good, I'm better. That's just only create problem. Okay? So if you think you're better than somebody, good. Go add more value in it. Then everybody will see that you do a good job and add a lot of air value and people will respect you. Okay? That's what it is. The second thing is this. <clears throat> if you look at the fight of the uh, MMA practitioner and the Tai Chi practitioner, and actually I went and do a search on the video of uh, both practitioner, you can see that, seriously, According to General Chi Chi Guang writing, the MMA practitioner is more and is fit to 
Jenna Chi Chi Guang's teaching than the Tai Chi player. General Chi Chi Guang's saying, momentum is the bottom line. Okay? General Chi Chi Guang saying, one tested one's art, not about win or lose, but to see whether it's working or not working properly. Okay? General Chi Chi Guang said, uh, one uh, combine different arts. And, uh, you know, when he said that, General Chi Chi Guang raised that uh, combine different art. You know, read, read that in the, his book. So, <clears throat> there's very MMA for today. So, this is a 1560, that 500 years ago, he already do MMA. Okay? General Chi Chi Guang. And for the testing of the art, well, you know, it's a technical test. It is not about who win, who lost, but to find out what is uh, function, what is not function. Okay, and so everybody can improve. And General Chi Chi Guang said, it's momentum. Now, if you look, look into this case, the Tai Chi guy, I, I, I watch him, he's a very famous person who uh, appear himself in TV and everything, doing this, uh, the Jing, the you know, all kinds of uh, internal art stuff. But if you look at the incidents on, to, uh, at, on the 27th April, he's not trained as what uh, General Chi Chi Kuang prescribed or teach. Even though Tai Chi, we know Chen Tai Chi is from uh, uh, based on Chi Chi Kuang's book. Okay? But this person, Certainly, his signature doesn't show that. So now, instead of uh, complaining, in order to add value to it, one must look into the reality. Why is the heck is that uh, the, the thing get distorted, divert away from General Chi Chi Kuang's teaching, and get into this uh, uh, magical jing and those kind of stuff? and end up getting the result as what uh, tragically happened in the 27th April, okay? So all those, you know, many, many people will talk about internal, this Qing, this power, this mysterious Qing, Qi, Shen, and all things. It is divert away from general Qi Qi Guang teaching. So the, 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 the thing right now, you can see that the MMA practitioner who practice the momentum and so forth is actually fit General Chi Chi Kong's teaching. But the other guy is not. So who is more Chinese? I would say the MMA guy, based on technical facts, okay? And also, you know, this is just a match. Like General Chi Chi Kong said, you have a match both party willingly and then no win loss it doesn't matter you know you just learn from it and there's value added right so from this in the incident we can see we, i think it is a time for us to ask ourselves do we follow general chi chi kuang's teaching or we go off tangent going do something else and taking movies and stories as the truth and uh, move away from reality. So, that's what uh, need to be, to, be, uh, to be practiced now to find out what's happened. Drop whatever it is uh, not the teaching of the Chinese ancestor. Okay? So that is a part which is, uh, I think, uh, everybody will be uh, happy if we all look into this. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's Wing Chun or Tai Chi or Xi Yi or, or whatever. Bottom line, when things already divert away, far, far away from General Chi Chi Guang's teaching, and while the MMA is 
following the Jana Chichigong's teaching, then one has to think. It's not you say you 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 cannot say, oh, the other party always is wrong. Look at that. If we divert away from Jana Chichigong teaching already, then admit that. And change it. Because that's not the the, the, the teaching of the, the Chinese martial anymore. Okay? And uh, so that is about the momentum. And that's why I share about the momentum play is a real deal. The technique play, the power play is something else. Months ago. Okay? Because if we really seriously take Jenna Chi Chi Guang as, uh, as a reference, technical reference, you can see this is going to come in. It's predictable. This is technical stuff. This is not, uh, not uh, some kind of woo-woo or magic. Okay? It's technical technology. Like in the Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. we can predict what technology is going to come. Okay? There's a trend for that. Now, another part technically is this. So I went uh, search for all different videos and I found out the training of this MMA person and his video and so forth. You can notice from his video that uh, he have an uh, issue with his breathing training. Breathing training. Okay? And you look at his training video and so forth. Okay? We can see what happened technically. Now, in Chinese martial arts, the bottom line is externally one train one's bone sinews tendon internally train that mouthful of breath or oxygen intake today what we talk about and <clears throat> certainly from this MMA's uh, person's training video we can see he can improve on the breathing site in his training. Otherwise, it will end up to be like uh, uh, this uh, Mr. Nan Huai Jin, critics on Bruce Lee, saying that Bruce do not know how to train his breathing. And that caused problem. Okay? So if you look at this MMA guy's uh, breathing and his uh, signature and so forth with the 613.3 uh, for 613.3 is based on Chinese uh, medicine and so forth so forth you can see that his type of training will never fit to those who have high blood pressure asthma, diabetic like me will never be, be able to do that People who have a kidney issue, heart issue, liver issue will not be able to do those kind of training because those are strain, a very strenuous stress training. If you have a good body, fine, good. If you don't, you cannot touch it because it will damage the health. Okay. So those type of MMA training, <coughs> you know, it is uh, suicidal for anybody who is uh, uh, not born healthy or have a preconditions okay so martial is not just for fighting what good is it to train something where even before one go to fight one die okay like a uh, high blood pressure, you do those strenuous training, your heart problem training and so forth, it will cause all kinds of health problems. And as uh, we can see from his uh, video, when he talk, his breathing, you can see that there's an issue there in his breathing. Now I can be wrong, but uh, that's the issue. Okay? And the strenuous and so forth. <coughs> so, all this can be improved if you take at it take at this as a general Chi Chi Guang said you uh, do experiment with the the, 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 the art 
uh, to find out what is the shortcoming and then improve it. Okay, it's all positive. However, if we don't face the reality and improve things, then we know it is predictable. If we continue to go to those jing, uh, this uh, mysterious power and ignore momentum, you know what is the outcome. If we continue to strengthen the uh, 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 strenuous the body uh, uh, with those uh, uh, training we cause breathing issue and so forth so forth which is not suitable for uh, people who have a uh, high uh, high blood pressure and so forth you know what is going to uh, get in the outcome the guy can collapse and die okay or the guy has to end up play paying big medical bill okay so everything is uh, cause and effect if uh, you are okay with the, 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 the cause then you're going to get the effect get the result nobody is exceptional and uh, if we think we are better than somebody go contribute something so that uh, one is uh, recognized positively instead of critic whoever already passed away. That those type of criticizations doesn't go anywhere. Okay. So this is to share my view with you and uh, don't take me as right. Think about it, what I'm saying.